We have Phyllis on the line with us. Hi, Phyllis. Uh, good morning. How can we help you, Phyllis? Uh, this is about daffodils, okay. uh, tulips, and irises. Can I replant them in my yard now? Do I wait till fall? Well, you have an option, and I'm going to divide the, the three plants this way. Daffodils and tulips are just about mature in foliage. Now, by that meaning, the green is pretty much gone or getting ready to be gone. They've turned tan brown, dying down toward the ground. At this point in time, while you can still follow down, so to speak, on the center of that stem, stay out six inches or more away so you don't cut the bulbs, you can lift the bulbs at this point in time. You can either directly replant them or you can put them in a, uh, let's just call it a storage chamber, until fall and plant them at the more normal time if you were purchasing bulbs. Now, that's the daffodils and tulips. Um, I would wait, though, until the foliage is pretty well browned down. That way you can expect that they have matured. They're, they've grown to a, a larger, hopefully, flowering size for next year. Now, the iris. Uh, I have, indeed, popped them out of the ground in bloom and moved them. Needless to say, the bloom wilts, the stem of the flower uh, tends to shrivel up, and on occasion I have lost the iris. Now, this is done uh, in a landscape setting where you have to move in and, and do the job of installation at a given point in time, uh, so you just go ahead and take the chance. I would say you'd have about a 50% chance of moving them now. I would, however, recommend that the normal time to move iris, if you can wait that long, is approximately August 15. That's when they have been up, they've matured, flowered, hopefully. They have uh, finished their active life for the summer, and that's a better time to move them. Uh, certainly, there's no, well, on except for the few re-bloomers, uh, mostly they're not flowering. They, as I say, they've, they've been out in the sun, made enough food for next year, and it's a good time to move them. Uh, most people will cut the foliage back approximately in half and get them planted. And when you replant iris, the same as they are now, the hump of the back, so to speak, is probably just barely showing above the surface of the ground. Plant them only that deep when you put them back in. A hint of mulch over the top might help. I'd, I've done it without. Uh, but, uh, well, the bulbs per se, tubers, corms, and the iris types of things uh, later. 